hello good day and welcome to diaspora fats today i want to specially welcome you to diaspora fats and please if today is your first time of joining us on diaspora fat or watching our video please kindly hit the subscription button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that whenever we upload a new video you'll be the first to be notified um, and be informed because information is power and um, today we want to quickly dive into the reason why we are here I, I see a lot of people wondering about um, COVID-19. A lot of people are complaining about the vaccine. And the same persons who are complaining about these vaccines, they don't even love this pandemic. They don't love COVID-19. They don't love um, uh, the, everything about COVID-19 whatsoever. Thing that came along with, with uh, it, they don't love it. And yet, they still complain about the vaccine. Do you know why? We are all complaining because of the information we got about the uh, nanotechnology, about the microchips that will be encrypted inside the vaccine. And why are we all afraid about this technology? Because why we feel that this technology will take away our privacy. Yes, this alone can can make a man to be worried, can, can change everything about human race. And what makes us human is our privacy. If a man has no privacy, then what makes you a man? How am I different from the other person if I don't have my own privacy? Even when little children are coming up, they need their privacy. And sometimes when you give their room as parents, they still need their privacy. If you stumble to them the way they don't like, they will tell you, Dad, Mom, Please, give me some space because I need my privacy. Everybody needs privacy. And privacy is one of the biggest things that a man can, can wish for and can, can have uh, as human. Governors, presidents, uh, senators, ministers, uh, um, local government, um, um, uh, councillors, and um, uh, just common man, citizen, rich, poor, uh, sick and uh, healthy, fat and thin, everybody needed privacy. Yes, me that is talking to you right now, I need privacy. But today I am not worried about COVID-19. I am not worried about the vaccine. I am not worried about uh, governmental setup that will, that will take away our privacy. I am worried about a video I stumbled to today and I said that it is very necessary to bring it. If anybody knows what it is, they can explain to us. I am worried because Facebook has proven to me that we don't have privacy anymore. I am worried because I stumbled to a video and I said when I watched the video, I was amazed, I was, I was surprised to see that all my activities I carried out with my smartphone has been recorded, have been recorded uh, uh, by Facebook. The question I asked myself when I stumbled to this particular secret, I asked myself and I said, if Facebook, small Facebook, when I, uh, when I say small Facebook, I, I mean comparing Facebook to other mega network, uh, 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 network moogles, other network gurus. Facebook is a kid compared to Google, compared to um, uh, Microsoft. All these will be a mega internet or uh, software models or um, what, what we like qualify them with they are mega compared to, to Facebook uh, let's quickly run down to, to uh, Facebook and then we, we look at Google just Google alone uh, Facebook Facebook was created by Mike Zuckerberg which every one of us know Mike Zuckerberg created Facebook and it was launched on February 4th 2004 that is barely 16 years ago 
And now when you go and compare it with Gogo, Gogo, uh, okay, okay, before we run down to Gogo, let me, let me tell you uh, one of the comparisons as well. And at as today, where I am making this video right now, Facebook has just only five, five brands or products, which are Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, WhatsApp, and uh, uh, Oculus VR. Just five products, five brands. If you go to compare these with Google, you will discover that Facebook is just a kid. Facebook is just barely 16 years now. Google, comparing Google, Google was launched on this uh, 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 September 4th, 1998, 22 years ago. Now, if you compare Facebook to Google, you will discover that Facebook is a kid. Don't skip this video because I'm driving so, uh, somewhere so that you get to understand whatsoever I'm going to say right now. You go to compare it, you go to try it. Just try whatsoever I want to. I, 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 I'm going to say right now. Just try it. Just try it on your Facebook because I know you that is watching me right now. You ask Facebook. Now let's quickly look at if you compare products. I told you before now that Facebook just only have five products: Oculus V uh, Arrow. Instagram, Messenger, WhatsApp, Facebook itself. Now, if you compare it with Google, Google has multiple. I mean, when I talk about product, when I talk about product, I'm talking about a product like, like a minimum of 30 products compared to Facebook, which is just, just five. 30 products including operating system the android we are using right now the android we the eh, 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 if if you are using a samsung phone or if you are using a um uh, um a white phone a white is just a product that make the skeleton of the phone but the software without without the go uh, without a go go this away this a uh, uh, android phone cannot work because google is the owner of android as one of the operating system and that is not the only operating system they have they have multiple of operating system including uh, um, chrome os now my question is if if um, um facebook can take away our privacy i discovered that using facebook right now you don't look you don't have privacy anymore if all your activity is uh, uh, being recorded on Facebook, no, I'm not talking about activities done now on Facebook. I am talking about activity that you, you, you are doing with your phone. If you are doing any activities on um, Chrome, uh, Google Chrome, for example, Facebook record every activities you are doing on Google Chrome. For example, if you visit any website through your um, uh, Google Chrome, Facebook will record all your activities. If you have, if you, if you download any app on a um, um, uh, Play Store, which is also owned by Google, Facebook will record all the activities you did on that particular app. Then my question is, where is our privacy? If we could discover this from Facebook, then what are we not saying concerning the mega, uh, um, uh, mega uh, 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 internet uh, uh, gurus? What we, are we going to say concerning mega internet uh, models, app models, and all? Privacy is very, very essential. I never imagine when. Uh, 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 at the time I, I stumbled to um, Google and uh, Facebook and said that, um, okay, I, 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 I have to approve you that whenever all my activities I am doing inside my phone, you should be recording them. I never get that particular order. So I believe that using Facebook, for example, they should concentrate on whatsoever I ask them to record. For example, if I want to 
publish any article for example and i publish it on facebook i have given them access to publicize it and they can record it they can do whatsoever they want to do with it but storing every activities that i carried out with my phone to me is an art of no privacy is an art of no privacy I am going to study it more and make sure I deactivate all. I, I, I think we let's quickly run down to the phone so that you will get to understand what I'm saying. I'm going to do a screen recording of this phone and I am going to show you on the screen. Right now, we are, we are going to go to, to, to the phone right now. This is my phone. This is my phone right now that you are seeing. I'm going to open Facebook. This is Facebook. And I'm going to go to my setting. And you see I'm already on my uh, menu, sorry, uh, which is the three, uh, three dots there. I, I just went on the three dots up here. And I'm, I will scroll down and I'll go to setting, which is uh, where they wrote settings and privacy. When you click settings and privacy, you go down to setting. And then when you click setting, it takes you all your personal information and the uh, uh, translation for page and uh, for post, uh, ads and payments and the other one. You just go down to privacy. From privacy, you go down to uh, your Facebook information, your access, access your information, activity login. You go down straight. Just hold on. You go down straight to, okay, I, I think I, I passed it. You just look for a place where it uh, they wrote off Facebook activity. As you can see right now, we are on um, your Facebook information after the access, counting from the access, your information, one, two, three, the third column there, off Facebook activity. Here, we are not talking about the activities you carried out on Facebook. Here, they are talking about the activities you carried out outside Facebook. For example, my bank I'm, I'm going to give you an example for example my shopping app like um, um, amazon.it my shopping app activities are carried out on that app will be recorded here activities are carried out on my bank uh, app will be recorded here then the question is who knows whether they they have they, they are storing now um uh, all our details who knows now let's quickly open that particular uh, place of facebook activities opening that of facebook activity you see apps line up you say your off facebook activity let me just quickly read it all facebook activity include information that businesses and organizations share with us about your in interactions with them such as visiting their pages or websites learn more you can click there and going going, uh, uh, going down you see you see uh, pages listed you see pages listed uh, uh, listed as you can see there you have a bible gateway you have a um, which app it was this? I I forgotten. You have a, a wish. You have another app. You have um, the the fourth one there and the fifth one there is um, Media World uh, dot it. You have a, a e Global Central where these are shopping sites. I have Wish again. I have a Bank Good. These are all shopping sites. I have Amazon there. I have a lot of them. When you click this particular auction. You see what they wrote there. They say, your off Facebook activity. This is a summary of the 560 apps and websites that have been shared. Okay, that have shared your activity. 560 apps and websites that have shared your activities. Which activities are they sharing? I have a right to clear the history there. As you can see there, 560. I never knew that every site I, I entered, every website I enter, I've been stored here. Every um, 
uh, app that I have visited, I've been studying, like, uh, like um, today, as a, uh, uh, today is um, um, 20, I think, uh, okay, today is 29, is already, um, I'm recording this video very early morning, today is 29 already, like I visited on the 28th, biblegateway.com, you can see it there, five activities being shared to them, I, vis I visited Subito, Five, uh, 20 plus activities will be shared to them. I visited Wish. 20 plus activities will be shared to them. You see a lot of uh, windowcentral.com, uh, mediaworld.it, eglobalcentral.com, wish.com, bangu.com, file manager, blah, blah, blah. You see Amazon. You see uh, a, a, lot of, a lot of dentists and all. A lot of things, including Iran, just PayPal, mobile, including PayPal, mobile cash, where I do all my uh, financial transaction. Glow, glowworld.com. Uh, you you just see all this particular app, including including a, a um, governmental app that I. I put all my, my credentials and privacy and there about. Uh, oh my God. Just imagine all the shopping app or and website that I visited all appeared under this particular column. All appeared here. All. When I talk about all, all appeared here. Everything appeared here. Now, if you think I'm lying, you can try it. Now, let me just quickly open. I want to open one of the app and show to you what I'm saying. Uh, um, like on the on the twenty on the twenty seventh of January, I, I day before yesterday, I visited Wish. I just want to click that Wish. Okay, look at it. Looking at this particular activity, you say, how did Facebook get this activity? Okay, now let's forget that. Okay, the activity was shared using Facebook business tools. I don't know about that. Now, let's see the second one. I said, I have 96 transactions. Okay, 96 transactions were received. Let me just quickly open the transaction and see. It said 96 uh, uh, transactions were received. We receive activity from businesses and organizations who use our business tools to so that they can better understand how their website app and ad and uh, are performing we use uh, your activities to blah 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 blah. and uh, he say examples of transactions include opened an app logged into a uh, uh, log into app with facebook i don't log in with facebook to, to wish for example i have an account with wish which include my email not the same email I use in opening this Facebook, my email and password, and then um, uh, share for an uh, search for an item, added an item to a, a to a wish list, added an item to a basket, made a purchase, made a donation. All these are things that are being shared to to Facebook and Facebook are recording them. What am I trying to say? Every activity, every website I visited with a um, browser, like for example, uh, this media world.it, which is a one, two, three, four, five, the fifth one you are seeing there. I did not have a media world app, I only visited this particular um, site, uh, like uh, eglobalcentral.com. These are shopping sites where I normally do most of my shopping. And uh, you, you see, um, bank details are being shared to these people. Bank details are being shared to these people. You understand what I'm saying? So the school library, everything you carried out on the, your phone, are being, uh, they are being recorded by Facebook. My question is, if Facebook can do this, oh my God, I mean, you know what I said? 560 apps and websites recorded. You think I'm lying?
You can try it on your, with your phone. Just try it with your phone. My question is, if Facebook that just came up yesterday can have this database, can have this on their database, then what are you saying concerning these mega um, internet operators like Microsoft, owned by Big Gates and uh, like um, uh, Google, like Google, hmm? What are you saying concern? What what are we not saying concerning these mega uh, internet operators? Just imagine, just imagine all activities being stored on Facebook. Just imagine this. You think I am lying? Just visit your Facebook. Visit it. Let me go back again on how to do it. Just go to your Facebook. Go to your Facebook. Open your Facebook. This is my Facebook right now. On your Facebook, just click the menu. The three uh, three stroke there. The, you see the menu there. Click the menu and then run down to um, what they call. Run down to setting. Yes, just run down to setting. Look for setting. If you cannot see setting, you you see setting there, or you can go down a little bit. Uh, 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 you see. Um, okay, it's setting. You you just I I, I got this setting under this. Um, um, you can get setting under settings and privacy. You click setting and privacy. You see setting there. Click the setting, and then you run down to uh, account uh, uh, settings. Leave there. You go down to security. Leave there. You go down to privacy. Leave there. You go down to your Facebook information. Under your Facebook information, the third line there, you see off Facebook activity. Your off Facebook activity. This is not the activity you are carrying out on Facebook. This is the activity you are doing outside Facebook. Being recorded into the database of Facebook. Then the question is, open it, just open it. You will see, you will see that they will give you a notification. Like mine now, it said, uh, your all Facebook activity, this is a summary of the 560 apps and websites that you shared your activities. If I share my activity with them, what concerns Facebook? Who knows? What goes here? 560. The first one you can see there was the last or the most frequent I normally visit, which is uh, BibleGateway.com. You can see them there. You can see, you can see them. You can see them there. You can see. Including the one I just visited today. I visited this web uh, patented B today. I, I visited this... Uh, I visited, oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> what I'm trying to say here is that privacy is creeping away slowly. Privacy is leaving us on a slow motion. And this is the reason why people are complaining about the, the vaccine of COVID-19. We are not talking about the vaccine now. We are talking about this. Just small picking, uh, 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 small Facebook. We are not even talking about, if it was Microsoft or this one, we know we know these people before, that they can do something. If, if we, oh my God. Well, I, I go to rest my video here, but as for me, I'm going to make sure I, I, I will find out on what to do on this particular issue. Deactivate everything because I have I didn't send anybody to keep my activities. Privacy is very very important. Once again, thank you for watching that spot of fact. If you find this video so interesting, please share to your loved ones so that they get to understand what is going on. Because why? Information is power. Thank you once again and remain blessed.